Chicago Bears draft the brother of Penny Sewell, Noah Sewell, linebacker out of Oregon with the 148th pick in the 2023 NFL Draft. What's going on guys? I'm back with another Chicago Bears draft reaction video, which I'll be doing after every single draft pick that the Chicago Bears make this year. There's been a lot of draft picks, a lot of videos coming your way. I hope you guys have been enjoying all the videos, but... In this video, I'll be talking about Noah Sewell, the linebacker that we drafted in the fifth round of the draft this year. And obviously, linebacker was not a need whatsoever for the Chicago Bears after signing Tremaine Edmonds, after signing TJ Edwards, after having Jack Sanborn, you know, having a having above an above average season last year for being a UDFA, you know, signing Dylan Cole as well. So it definitely was not a need, but this is a case of Ryan Pohl selecting the best player available on the board because most mock drafts I saw had this guy going much, much higher than the fifth round. So from a draft value point of view, this is a pretty good pick because you're just getting the best player available on the board. And adding talented football players is never a bad idea for any football team, if you, even if you do have already, you know, really good players at that position because it's the NFL. Injuries can happen. You know, stuff can happen where guys that you thought were going to be on the field for you end up not being on the football field. And then you need guys behind them to fill in and step up for those guys and the best football teams the best organizations have multiple guys at each position to fill in when those types of things happen that's the thing that chicago bears have never been able to have quality depth on their roster and that's the thing that ryan poles now is building on the roster at least in, at most positions obviously defensive end is still a position that does not have quality depth but obviously you couldn't fix everything in one year and just getting bpa on day three i'm not going to be complaining against that especially Picking up a player as talented as Noah Sewell actually is. A guy that was viewed as being one of the best defenders in college football, you know, entering last year. Now, last year he did have somewhat of a down year, which is why he probably slid in the draft, but still a guy with fantastic upside that you can mold into being, you know, maybe eventually a starting linebacker. And for right now, he could be a fantastic special teamer for the Chicago Bears. So let's talk more about. You know what he's going to be bringing to the Bears right now. Looking at the RAS score, you guys can see it's six foot one, weighs two hundred forty six pounds. Definitely a bigger, stronger, you know, bulkier type of linebacker. He's very, very fast. You know, tested really good in the 40, 20, and ten yard split. Decent explosion, agility. You know, decent. Didn't test well in the three cone, but you know, on tape, that is that is probably the one area where he does struggle in terms of you know being able to move laterally. Um, he probably could be a little bit better in that. But aside from that, he has, you know, he has the athletic traits, the athletic abilities that he would like out of a linebacker. And his best trait on the football field is how hard he actually hits people. He's a downhill type of player that dumps people in the open field. You know, he's going to leave guys wincing in pain just because of how hard, you know, he actually does hit the ball carrier and how hard he launches himself at, at receivers as well. So if you wanted a guy that, you know, can follow the hits principle that Iberflus loves preaching this is definitely a guy like that and a guy that on special teams could be forcing a lot of fumbles just because of how hard he actually hits people so you know getting a downhill type of player that plays like that you know that's super fast that hits guys hard that's very strong and big as well it's going to be a good fit in this Eberflus defense and playing in the box he could be really good for the Bears because he does have the ability to take on multiple blockers at the line of scrimmage due to how big of a guy he is and the speed that he has as well to close in on the ball carrier and he does blitz a decent amount too in college football he was used as a blitzer too so if Iberflus wanted a linebacker to blitz on this defense you know that could be an option too to add to the Bears pass rush he actually has decent pass rushing moves for you know being a linebacker and the power and the speed and the acceleration definitely help a lot as well now in terms of pass coverage he definitely leaves some to be desired there because he is kind of stiff in his hips you know he can't move as well laterally I would say so he still can make some plays because he is, you know, very rangy in terms of speed and explosion. So that's pretty decent, but he's probably not going to be like a starting linebacker for that reason right away because he is super raw in pass coverage. But as a run defender, I mean, he could be fantastic, kind of like a Jack Sanborn type of player who, you know, was pretty good against the run and could hit guys pretty hard. So, you know, overall, there is a lot to like about this guy. And he only turned 21 a couple days ago. So last season, he played at age 20. Next season, he's going to be playing at age 21. Uh, with the Chicago Bears so he's super super young which is why he's pretty raw but the upside is ridiculously high with the athletic tools that he has and you know the fact that he is pretty young so for that reason I do think it's a pretty good pick by the Bears and briefly talking about his stats in college football so he started three years at Oregon and as you guys can see you know freshman season he had 6.5 tackles for loss two sacks 48 total tackles the following year in 2021 he broke out had 114 total tackles 8.5 tackles for loss four sacks just a really really good season for him that year two forced fumbles as well and then last year 2022 he had a bit of a down year as compared to the previous year he had 1.5 sacks 5.5 tackles for loss you know 56 total tackles and 
Um, he had four passes defended, one fumble recovery. So still a decent season, but not as good as it, you know, as he was in 2021. And he did miss a few tackles last year as well, which were, you know, pretty glaring um, thing on his tape. So definitely has to clean that up and be better if he wants to be a full-time starter with the Chicago Bears. But otherwise, there's so much to project here and so much upside here. Um, that I think it is a pretty good pick by the Chicago Bears. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this pick in the comments down below. Obviously not the biggest need in the world, but going best player available on your board can never hurt you. You know, if you do want to build a successful foundation for the future of your franchise. And this guy could be, you know, a fantastic special teams player for next year. So that could be pretty um, nice to have as well. So again, leave your comments down below. But as always, bear down.